It was the reverent quiet you would expect. Closest family and friends standing by. Staff Sergeant Matt Maupin's brother, Micah, a Marine, salutes him as soldiers from Matt's unit, the 724th, receive his casket from the Falcon jet that flew him here from Dover Air Force Base. After his initial arrival, the cameras pulled back for a while so the family could have its private moment with Matt. A very public ceremony of honor would soon begin. Union Township police officers and Patriot riders escorted Matt the 15 miles to the Civic Center in Union Township where people stood in the rain along Route 32 to finally welcome him home. It's really sad. Just be, I didn't know him, but I have a little boy and you never know. Me and my girlfriend on Schoolhouse, Andy Phelps, we used to babysit Matt Moppin and Micah and from Willowville Elementary and it's just, it's just neat to see everybody come together like this and stand out on this rainy day. On the way back from the airport to here, it was just phenomenal. The amount of folks on the side of the road and the, just the support from the community as a whole, it, it's, can you put into words how awesome it is. One last salute, a few final tears, a prayer. Mourners walk past pictures of Matt Moffin, number 80 on Glen Estes football team, his senior year photo, his Star Wars memorabilia. They are mementos from a young life cut short, how a boy became a soldier and a hero. And I told the Army we're going to get him home. Keith Moffin has held on to hope that he'd get Matt home. One way or another, he wanted his son. Today, that happened. Matt Moffin returned home, although it's not the ending anyone wanted. The Moffins say they could never have gotten through the past four years without the tremendous support from the community. That helped us get through all this. You know, without their help, we couldn't do anything. What the Moffins did was something extraordinary. Since they opened the Yellow Ribbon Support Center four years ago, they've sent more than 9,600 care packages to the troops. That that work, Moffin says, won't end today. We're going to try to continue what we what we started. I mean, we still got three guys missing and 140,000 that that need our help and everybody else's help to let them know that we support them over here. One of the missing is Tim Bell, a civilian contractor who was driving a truck in the same convoy as Maupin four years ago. Bell hasn't been heard from since. His family traveled here from Alabama this weekend. It's a unique bond. It's an unfortunate bond that we share, having suffered and just been so sad and without information and missing a loved one, missing a family member for so long. And it's just important to come and support them in whatever way we could. Keith Moffin says he hopes the services this weekend honoring his son's life and sacrifice will give the community a sense of closure. For him, though, he says he's not quite sure when that will happen. Hey, I don't think this is for me. I think this is for all the people that's helped us get Matt home. This is so they can have the, their closure, so they can complete their circle with Matt. You know, mine won't be over. And I don't know. I have to do this again myself in about whenever. I have my own thing. But this is for everybody else.